As you start collecting more Autolist programs, you may want to go ahead and organize them into a folder and then be able to control when these programs are loaded in so that they'll be available for your users to utilize. So one command that AutoCAD gives us to allow us to uh, control that behavior very nicely is called AppLoad. You can either key in AppLoad at the command line or you can find it here in the Manage ribbon tab with the Load Application icon we see here. That brings up this screen. All you do is navigate into the file folder where your Lisp utilities are, and to load in one program, you would simply click it and then say load. The result of that load operation will trigger a result down here that says julian.lsp successfully loaded in this case. So that, that's good. That means no errors were encountered. The Lisp file has been loaded and any functions inside of it are now resident in memory and available for you to use. The problem with this is going to be whenever AutoCAD stops and then reloads, the julian.lsp file is not going to be automatically loaded in because we had to manually load it using this workflow. To get around this limitation, we'll use the startup suite, which we see down here. This simply allows us to add a list of LSP files from a known directory and path, and then those will be loaded in every time AutoCAD starts. Let's see how that works. All we do is go to the Contents tab right here. We then add a list of the programs that we would like to automatically load via the startup suite. So I navigate into my network folder here, my AutoLisp, and I can select one or several of these files. Say open, and they have now been added into the startup suite. Please notice that this is drive and path specific. So the startup suite will only function if it finds these files in this path. Now we close this dialog. The startup suite has been built, and every time AutoCAD starts, it's going to load all the utility programs in for us automatically. Please notice that the startup suite is machine specific. So this will affect my machine. It is not going to reach out and automatically load these files across the network. So if you have to manage many, many users, the startup suite's not as useful. But for customizing and controlling automatic loading on your own machine, startup suite is the way to go. So again, the command was called AppLoad. Very neat utility command. Go ahead and dig into it. And if you have any further questions about it, you can look it up in the help system here using the key in AppLoad. Have fun with it. Good luck.